A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there on the planet Earth who are here to uplift the energy of planet Earth who are here to be a contributing factor for the growth and development of planet Earth who are selfless in their approach in their mission work who keep their mission on number 1 priority even over their personal affairs personal relationships and personal pleasures in fact people on the ascension journey do not care about pleasure and pain they are above these things they try to be in the very beginning they obviously learn via experience they have to suffer all of this suffering leads to purity of the soul it is a difficult journey but in the end it's completely worth it because it never ends actually <laughs> you would think when does it really end it never ends because there is no beginning or there is no end to the source energy and that's how this connection is now i know you guys are really eagerly listening to this particular channeling session series i know it's very spicy it has all the elements of a uh, of a very romantic getaway with all the intimacy but you have to understand that to reach this point whosoever is the divine feminine and masculine that i channeled i have channeled like really crazy stuff crazy in the sense very mind boggling stuff with a lot of supernatural stuff which i'm not yet ready to relay but i know i will when the time comes in due time but in this channeling also I would like to say this very clearly that these two people this divine feminine and masculine they really love each other a lot but the divine feminine is more in love with the source and she understands that divine masculine is just reflecting is just mirroring a certain aspect of hers and she is totally present to it she has not planned this so in this part 2 you will understand this even more because what's coming up is going to get more and more interesting so fasten up your seat belts because i get really vivid channelings and i think i'm and when i was doing this channeling i got the message through triple 8 and i think that triple 8 has been very rare i have not seen triple 7 and triple 8 but lately i am seeing triple 7 and triple 8 and in this channeling because i was little confused i was thinking that hey am i supposed to even relay this because there's so much intimacy talk in this this talk about intercourse this talk about you know and when i heard the first part i was literally thinking that oh my god it sounds kind of quite exciting girls so i was thinking am i even supposed to relay this type of stuff but i i started seeing triple eight suddenly and when i when i saw triple eight i you guys can look up for triple eight it would be better if you look up for it and you will understand where i'm coming from so that was my answer for this channeling that you just do what you're supposed to do don't question that's what a channeler has to do we just have to be very honest and we actually have to you know you guys could also end up becoming channelers in the future or you guys could have strong intuition power that would help in your own mission depends on what role the universe has for you but to be a channel you have to be a a pure vessel which has no questions so i really cannot ask questions sometimes i really go through very crazy experiences in one day like in the morning i'm crying in the evening i'm laughing and dancing sometimes it happens in a fraction of some time like one hour ago i'm in a different mood another sometime later but nothing really nothing really matters because i just have to be the observer it all it all it's all happens stands just like this channeling now i ended at the point where she is having a conversation with the platonic friends of dm her dm and she finds out that the dm has actually sent a message through her that 
you know the intimacy that happened between them before she left was very nice very cute and he really has gratitude for it and she's thinking that why did he even had to tell to her like like this is our private moment why you have to tell it to her but before this private moment happened and i got this glimpse after i had already relayed part 1 so between part 1 and part 2 you know my life kept going and in between i got the glimpses i saw the glimpse that while before getting into the intimate situation when she enters the party and he's there he's wearing very simple clothes like he's wearing literally chappals and pajamas and uh, a, a vest like a like a very simple basic black color vest and she too is she's looking very nice no doubt about it but she's very casually very simply dressed and both of them are literally everyone can see them they stand out in the party but it's not like people are worshiping them how they show in the movies that everyone is going like wow look at these two love birds no they're all friends they're all having fun but he so when he when she enters and they're having the group dynamics his eyes are constantly on her and she catches him looking at her and this is how they get aroused by the way they they have this very flirtatious vibe and like you know like a new couple does at a party like a random party you see someone who's very attractive and you really have so it's it's like they know each other for such a long time but still their their um their type of foreplay is very like as if it's for the first time it's very beautiful how i see it from my po- point of view it's very sacred it, there is a lot of element of sacred sexuality and i but i don't know how other people would see it um and so he is very much into her she's very much into him while having conversations with other while cooking food while doing all the outdoor chores while setting up the place because she's kind of helping him out with it and then this whole thing happens and then they have to separate and go away for some time to other people and that's why he feels that you know he kind of wants to like make her feel special in his own way so there is a lot of comedy also because she did she did find it funny when some other girl says to her that he sent across this message in the day and age of mobile phones in the day and age of all the social media like they they could have he could have just messaged her or called her up but he also in his own cute very innocent way he passes on the message via another human being and this another human being also did not pass on the message till she actually got to know the strength of the divine feminine like when she when the divine feminine gave her that nice small talk about loving her own self about loving her body the way it is loving her raw side whatever she said this friend you know she was like whoa like oh my god now i see why this guy is so smitten by her or now i see why he really loves her so much i mean she is good looking attractive for him and all of those things match up she's funny and they they are getting along really well but now i see the confidence level and then she finally shares this message she could have shared it later or before but i don't know perhaps i'm not the right person to say why but then i see it like this now now this intimacy should not be seen as something something very huge because earlier whenever there was intimacy after the chakra merge used to happen the chakra merge is is the thing that's the reason why they are a divine feminine and masculine because that that helps in the in their upgradation so that used to lead to running every time they would get intimate that would lead to running but now this is happening because of the imbalances of the energy has to come into balance if you technically look at the divine feminine and the divine masculine both of them have done so much ascension they have worked so much on themselves and i think we should give the credit to the divine feminine because she's really worked a lot on this and she has become a very selfless person 
that for her this is not important at all this is not her priority so you have to understand that she is completely detached from this and so is the divine masculine he is both of them they are not into this they are into each other the divine masculine is fully into each other that is he is mirroring her her level of presence is being is been mirrored by the divine masculine to be honest but that does not mean that this is what drives the relationship and the reason why i was confused about should i do this channeling this way exactly like this or not was because i do not want anybody to get the wrong message i want all of you people who are listening to remember still keep that in mind that it is the mission that is the priority of the divine feminine so now coming back to the vision so now they are going back to where the retreat is or where these people are living wherever they are hanging out so the girls are in the car and they are having a good time all of them are having a good time i mean the divine feminine is friendly with normally everyone uh, as per what i see in this channeling she doesn't have any problem with anyone as such but but sh- but yeah one more thing i also see a presence of animals in this channeling there are some animals in this channeling too and then they all they all reach back to that place and when they reach back to that place both of them are very happy to see each other especially the masculine he has this really big smile he's he's blushing and she was blushing when his friend spoke about his message so she was completely blushing and she was feeling you know like how your cheeks turn red when when you get to hear something like this and now he is the one who's blushing the moment she enters she is back in the party and she is obviously changed her clothes and she is looking more fresh and he has also changed only the vest but he is still in his raw both of them are raw i see a lot of rawness in both of them like hair not done that well the out of the bed look the simple look the casual look i see that that's like the highlight of this channeling i don't know why some of you would relate to it so when she is back in the party he is very excited f- to be next to her and i see them rescuing some animal that is also one thing i saw which was strange for me like i don't know why would they together rescue they they're trying to rescue a pet or they're trying to comfort a pet something like that they're doing then they they go to the terrace again and they again start chilling after doing the other chores like when they come back they do unpacking they distribute the food or whatever other items people had asked for and then they go back to their own private zone again okay and this time they are not doing anything they are not making out or anything but they are just they are just sitting with each other like she is sitting on this sort of a bed or something not exactly like a bed but it's like a like a piece of furniture where you can s- which has some sort of a mattress it's not a huge space but she can lie down so she's uh, lying down on it and i see some plastic transparent curtains over there and he is uh, sitting on a relaxing chair and they are just chit chatting with one another and very simple questions like how was your day and he doesn't bring up that message neither does she both of them have it in their mind probably but they don't talk about it that hey didn't you say this to your friend and how was your response nothing they are just having a normal conversation and then he just says that um i i'm really happy you came here i'm really happy you're here it matters to me it means a lot to me and she says that yeah i'm also having a good time it's not so bad um i just have to get back to my work i have to do some things and i'll be you know like fully back then like she has to send some emails or she has to do something on a laptop so that place that she is sitting on the the bed sort of a place it's actually for her work 
she wants to do some work so he what he's doing is that he's letting her work letting her do that work space thing but he's not leaving her side he's like i will sit next to her like why should i leave her alone why should she you know i i want to see her like i want to see her as much as i can and and i'm glad that she came here and she's extended the stay so obviously she has to work she cannot leave the work for me but I, i'm still going to even if i have to be quiet even if because when she's going to be writing the mails or she's going to be calling other people he would be he just wants to be around her let me put it that way with whatever excuse he can so he's just hanging out over there and he's also pretending to do something so they're just chit chatting in between like very little so there's that oh do you want to eat something tonight like what do you want to do blah 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 and just then and and yeah and, and yeah i also see that the friends have gone ro- totally nuts like they are in the party they are going crazy singing dancing they're doing all comical stuff so these two are enjoying that also it's like they have gone through so much in the past so much pain separation trauma fights anger cursing one another always doubting one another not being sure you know like 50 50 half here half there not choosing a side not sticking with it that this peaceful face is looking too good to be true and this is what she thinks in her head that this is too good to be true is this really even happening she's thinking now that something has to happen something weird has to happen now something awkward something weird something off putting something it can't be this perfect come on we never have things we never had it so perfect so relaxing so smooth something has to happen and she's scared little bit scared because she has seen that bad side of the divine masculine and he knows that she can get very angry uh and this is totally her thinking right now so she is thinking that what if something weird something bad something awkward happens and he loses his cool too and he he becomes like because the separation was long and then when they came back there were some meetings there were some conversations they had those conversations before coming to this point of being so close to one another so she is just hoping that you know so far i've only had comforting experiences with him i don't want anything weird to happen where i am tested where my self respect especially because it was always her self respect that was at stake so she's like i don't want my self respect to be at stake and all these things are going on in her in her mind and uh, she is still doing her work and he is sitting on that relaxing chair and he is also reading something he has some papers in his hand i don't know what papers but something and that's when one of the friend comes and says that says something to the divine masculine and the divine masculine is like what he's like yeah he's like wait are you serious the friend is like yeah i'm serious they are here So this is where I end the part two, and I'm going to be back in the part three because I don't want this to be too long. I want to complete it in the part three, and that's where the next will follow. So yeah, come back again for part three, and one love and peace out.